Our next caller is Eric from California. What's up, Eric? How can we help you? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Good, good. good. Where in California are you? Uh, I'm actually in San Rafael, in the North Bay. Oh, not oh, far from go. us at all. Yeah. yeah. How can we help you, all buddy? Right, so- uh, love the content, guys. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys having me on the show. Uh, so to give a little background, I played collegiate golf from 2015 to 2019. And I was going through a lot of personal issues back then, which we made me turn to food and alcohol to kind of fill the void. Uh, I went into freshman year at 5'7", 150 to 200 pounds by the end of my sophomore year. Ooh. Uh we had a trainer and we did strength training workouts with the team, but I kind of just ate so much and drank so much that I just gained a bunch of body fat. Uh, and I wasn't really going through the workouts with intensity either. I was just kind of going through the movements so that I didn't get kicked off the team. Uh, I, I was able to get past my personal issues and really started to get into resistance training by the end of my junior year. Um, and my buddy Gavin Bean actually turned me on to you guys and I was able to get down to a healthy 158. Uh, lately I've been training more for aesthetics, doing more of a push pull leg split five to six days a week for no more than an hour a day. Uh, I don't do any other specific cardio other than walking and I roughly get around 10,000 steps a day. Uh, and currently on a bulk eating around 2,800 to 3000 calories a day. So for my main question, now that I've gotten down to a body that I'm happy with, uh, I'm just focusing on getting stronger. And although I'm definitely improving in my lifts, uh, it's not necessarily translating to more distance on the golf course. Uh, If anything, I'm hitting the ball shorter now compared to when I was fat and had little to no muscle. So what are some specific exercises or mobility movements that I can do to gain more distance on the golf course? Yeah. That's very common, by the way. Yeah, great question. So here's the deal, okay? Um, I'm probably stronger than most uh, golf golfers. Yeah, and I thought he was going to say that. I can't I hit. the strongest <laughs> golfer ever. I am the strongest person <laughs> yeah. in the room right now. Yeah, listen. Uh, I'm sorry, we couldn't burp, 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 help it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, listen, go ahead. stop speaking so much truth. <laughs> no, so, so check this out. I, 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 I'm I definitely stronger than most golfers. I cannot hit not even a, a tenth of the distance that a golfer can because it's technique. Yeah. It's skill and technique. So gaining strength in the gym isn't going to translate if your technique is now thrown off because you're not – you're not getting them to connect. You're not working with them together. So Especially te- golf. Technique oh, yeah. is is number one. Now, if you want to do movements to improve upon your technique, a lot of it's going to be rotational. A lot of it's going to be mobility-based. It's not going to be bench presses and deadlifts and squats. Those are good for general health and strength, but they're, if your goal is to hit the ball further, I would focus more on skill and technique and then maybe focus on rotation and focus on increasing a range of motion yeah. and connection to more rotation. Something like, you know, windmills and, and you know, looking into uh, getting that thoracic rotation and, and just being able to be more fluid with your body because of the focus being on strength for a while and not really emphasizing, you know, skill and the technique that you had in place previous to that, uh, just getting back into that mentality and, and, and allowing, you know, your shoulders to be more loose and free uh, and mobile uh, along with your hips and, and kind of work your way down the joints and, and put a lot more emphasis on, on you know, freeing up your body to be able to move fast and loose. I mean, something's got to give here. Uh, you're not just a regular golfer. Uh, you, you're a, a high-level golfer, which was probably playing a lot more golf than what you're probably currently playing right now. Yeah, you're lifting weights five or six days a week. How many days a week are you pra- are you golfing and practicing your skill and technique? Uh, probably like one to two days a week. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. your answer. There, I mean, that yeah, mean, and so like six days. you're getting great results. I mean, your strength is going up. You've built the body that you want. You still want to get some more strength. So you, you've just, you've completely went from the guy who wasn't even strength training really much at all, or just kind of going through the motions and playing a ton of golf to now all of a sudden building a physique that you like the way, not only the way it looks and performs, and then also thinking that you're going to keep up the same uh, level of and and someone like you is going to see more discrepancy than the average person. An average guy like m- myself who golfs every once in a while, or like my buddies who golf once every other week, they might not see that much of a discrepancy in this. But you are at such a high level uh, with the sport that this makes a huge difference, especially since you're you're getting bulkier and strong or building more muscle and practicing the skill a lot less so you, you, something's got to give here you got to be either one 
um, okay with probably losing a little bit of the golf skill and, and, and seeing that slide back as you continue to build strength and to get stronger and to look better. Or you go, man, I'm going to scale back a little bit of this strength training and I'm going to introduce more skill training back into golf or more days of golf every week. And then so I can improve yeah. that. But to be to be clear, the resistance training is not why you're losing your that's distance. Right. It sounds like that it's the I say lack it, right? of practice right. uh, of golf. Okay. So okay. it's not the strength training. It's because you're, you're golfing once or twice a week. Now, if you want to really do well with golf, uh, then I would flip that. I'd go resistance training once or twice a week and golf every single mm -hmm, day mm -hmm. and then watch what happens. Or just keep doing what you're doing and be okay with the fact that you're you're not going to golf as good, but you'll look good, you know? Which, by the way, and we, we just had a question uh, earlier today that was related to this that don't be surprised. You could actually still get stronger and only train once or twice a week in the gym. Yep. So if mm -hmm. you really want to get better at, that, at your golf game again, do exactly what Sal is saying. Get back to playing four or five times a week and strength train full body one or two times a week. Uh, and then like a very, yeah. like a match. Add in those kin stretches, I'm telling you, man, to be able to ramp up that and generate more force, you know, out of those, out of those hips, uh, be able to transfer that up, you know, in through your entire body and really connect, you know, from fingertips to toes. Uh, you know, you're going to reconnect and, and have more of that uh, athleticism back. Eric, are you following uh maps performance no that's no, yeah, that's the program you got it yeah that's the routine so doug doug will send that over to you so doug will send maps performance oh, over to you appreciate that guys. that's the foundation that but again it, i would mold it and and shape it more specific for you since the mobility exercises are general like the guys are saying i would do more rotational type things that are going to uh, translate over into golf for my mobility stuff. I would also right. scale back on the amount of days based off of if I want to see more more progress in golf, or I would leave it the way it is if I care more about uh, building strength yeah. and muscle. How many how many days a week were you golfing when you were uh, competing in golf in, in college? Oh yeah, we were playing every single day, yeah, uh, yeah. about five to six days a so, week. So I'm, literally, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna re, I'm gonna give you a very straight answer. Okay, whatever you want to get better at, do that the most. <laughs> so yeah. that's it. Bottom line. So that's okay. the formula. Essentially, what you're asking is, hey, I used to golf every day. Now I golf once a week, and I can't hit the ball as well. And now, now the answer is quite obvious, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Right. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we'll send you over Maps Performance. We appreciate the call. Well, thanks for answering my question, guys. I really appreciate you guys. You got awesome. it, man. No problem. That's it's so it's so funny to me. I get it because people, you know, they want to do two things at one time and they don't connect the two. But mm -hmm. if you did, if you were at a high level doing something five days a week, you move it down to one day a week. Are you going to see a decrease in your performance, especially if you're at a high level? Of course, yeah. of well, course it's, you are. It's the it's the you num your practice. It's the number one thing we get. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is uh, the same question worded a different way. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, every week we have this. I have this goal and this goal. I want them both. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do I do it? And it's, you know, when, especially when they are so different, you know, yeah. it's not, uh, there, there's not a lot that he's going to run marathons, but I want to be a bodybuilder. Yeah. So <laughs> just something's cool. got to get, and it doesn't mean that you can't be kind of a buff guy that can run. You know what I'm saying? But you're just not going to be your peak at either. That's one. right. You're yeah. not going to be the best version of yourself at running. You're not going to be the best version. And the same thing with him. He's not going to be the best golfer and also the buffest he's ever been. It's just he's now focused his adaptation yeah. in that direction. So that's what he's going to And get. by the way, this is how resistance training gets a bad rap is that people will right. do this. I think it's bad. Yeah. yeah. And then they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not as flexible as I used yeah, to so be. It's taken away from their skills. Yeah. Training. It must be the strength training. It's like, no, you used to stretch every day and now it's one, it's one day a week. That's why your flexibility is going down not only that but you have to integrate the strength and muscle into your skill you know look i'll tell you what if you're watching this right now and i slapped 20 pounds of muscle on your body with strength your skill and technique for whatever you're highly skilled at would decrease because you have a new body right. you're not used to this 20 pound heavier body that you're moving around you have to integrate and, the two and you're not practicing with it too. that's what i'm saying right. you got to integrate the two so whatever you want to be the best at that's what you do the most. That's just a very simple uh, answer with that.